Thank you, Robert, and welcome all of you to Farmingdale State College this morning for a very important conference. Uh, you have an impressive uh, agenda here, and also you've brought distinguished individuals to participate in it, and most of all, the mission, the, uh, the aspirations of free to uh, serve its clients uh, is exceptionally important, and so I, I commend you for uh, the work that you do every day, but uh, for organizing this conference to bring a lot of people together to address these issues. I think the fact that we have so many of our elected officials and leaders who are supporting employment on Long Island here really speaks to the importance and the success that we were able to celebrate with many of the same individuals last year in our very first expo. Um, our RSVPs were more than double uh, for this year, and I think that speaks to the importance of just connecting people. And when people come together to celebrate their abilities, I think we are always amazed at the magic that occurs. Because within that synergy of people getting to understand each other on a very core level of who we all are as human beings and citizens, we are able to find where we are able to enhance each other, lift each other to even greater heights. My name is Tina Benstead. I'm the Director of Benefits and um, Advocacy at Suffolk Independent Living Organization, SILO. We had a great turnout and I hope all the individuals that attended walked out with the knowledge that they don't have to have a fear of losing their Social Security benefits or their health care. family-owned cleaning company. We have grown within the last seven years and we have approximately 20 employees. I never thought that seven years ago we'd be accepting awards for what me and my husband seemed to be what was normal hiring practices. The staff that we hire from Free and from Try, they are such exceptional workers. They're always on time, they work hard at all tasks, and they're willing to learn. One of the things that I like most about my job is that my boss gives me positive feedback about my accomplishments. He tells me that I am making progress and that I am valued and appreciated by the company. That makes me feel good. If you want a job, you should stand up for yourself and speak for yourself and advocate for people that cannot get a job. You must do the best that you can to get what you want in life. About the healthiest thing anyone could ever do is to stay busy. It's to stay busily involved in, in productive pursuits. We certainly know that uh, from the, on the mental health side of the business, that uh, when we are looking uh, for an intervention, when we're calculating the benefits of a particular intervention, and if we compare psychiatric medications to employment, it's neck and neck in, in terms of determining what type of uh, positive outcome uh, one can anticipate. Employment is crucial to promoting the health of, of an individual. More than one in ten working age persons in this country is working, is, has, has a disability. And we understand the importance of ensuring economic opportunities to these individuals who comprise an important part of what is, should be the growing economic engine in, in our country and in our region. We couldn't be more honored to be partnering with you all here today. And we're very excited from, from the bottoms of our collective hearts as a uh, organization. Um, I think, Joseph, you said it so well. It's all about focusing on the abilities. And you think about each individual story, the fact that we have so many of our elected officials and government officials here today speaks to the fact that this truly is an employment first environment because we are truly at a point in our societal evolution that I think we better understand that when we come together to celebrate the gifts and talents that we each bring to the fabric of our society that we are all stronger for it. Mm -hmm. 